We'll soon know if this audacious mission has succeeded. The New Horizons team is made up of some of the world's most elite space scientists. Hal Weaver, project scientist. To see the face of Pluto is going to be astounding. Fran Bagenal, particles and plasma team. We have only a very, very fuzzy glimpse of Pluto right now. Gabe Rogers, guidance team. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Amanda Zangari, geology and geophysics team. I still don't believe it's real. Mission leader Alan Stern has devoted 26 years to this project. You can feel the energy in the team. We're almost there to get what we did all this for. New Horizons blasted off on its epic voyage in 2006. The same year that Twitter began. It was the fastest man-made object ever to leave the Earth. A year later, it whizzed past Jupiter, just as the first iPhone was launched. The team used the opportunity to test New Horizons cameras on Jupiter and her moons grabbing some of the best pictures ever of a volcano erupting in space. All through 08 and 09, it sped silently through empty space as the world descended into financial chaos. On and on towards tiny Pluto, over three billion miles away. A thousand pound masterpiece of engineering the size of a grand piano hurtling through the outer solar system at 10 times the speed of a bullet. At nine miles per second, it's moving so fast that when it gets to Pluto, it can't land. During encounter, it will attempt to swoop over the surface, taking the critical photographs and measurements in less than two hours. The encounter is so fleeting, mission control must guide the spacecraft minute by minute. This is the expected error bar from Ivan. To put it exactly where it needs to be. We're trying to basically figure out exactly where the spacecraft is with respect to Pluto. So that's what we're doing right now um, up on the spacecraft. They're getting New Horizons to beam back pictures of Pluto against the surrounding stars, which they use to build a roadmap in space. Just like the old sailors did back in the day with the sextant, they knew where certain stars were at certain times of the day. Therefore, they knew where they were on the planet. Where Pluto is with respect to those stars, we're able to determine where the spacecraft is with respect to Pluto. We're getting there, you know, almost a million miles a day. So we're, we're coming up on the planet fast. 